Okay, so my name's uh, Ben, and uh, I've been working at STFC for nearly three years as a, as, as a graduate. My name is John Casson, um, I'm on the graduate scheme at STFC, and I work in the eScience Centre. My name is Jack Fletcher, I work for the STFC as a public affairs officer, uh, and I went to the University of Nottingham uh, to study archaeology. Uh, my name is Vicky, I am a paragenic engineer. I went to Southampton University and I studied aeronautical engineering. STFC is a, uh, a central funding body. We are at the STFC look after astronomy, particle physics and, astro uh, and, and nuclear physics to some degree. It is one of seven UK research councils. We run a particle accelerator which produces neutrons and uh, scientists that come and visit us will use the neutrons to analyse samples of things. Um, we have a rail space department as well that make um, sort of components for satellites that go up into orbit. Yeah, there's a lot going on and a lot to, uh, to do. You definitely start off straight in the deep end. Like, after a month people are saying, oh, well, why haven't you done this? Or you need to, why, you need to start working on this project. You definitely hit the ground running. The size of projects soon sort of ramps up until you are designing sort of complicated bits and pieces. You have small amounts of responsibility and then gradually as you, as you progress um, and you get, to, you get better at your job, your management are more ha happier to give you much more substantial tasks. Okay, so the, yeah, the STFC is pretty keen to see you go through a professional chartership with whatever institution it is you're affiliated with. So I'm a mechanical engineer, so my institution is the IMEC-E, and um, uh, like I say, you're, you're kind of put through this programme of chartership. So basically what I have to do is every quarter fill in a quarterly report, every at the end of every year fill in an annual report, and after four years you go to it, well it can be less than four years, but normally four years, you go to interview uh, with a board of child engineers and they basically assess whether you're uh, competent enough to to become child. The, uh, no pun intended, but the flagship uh, <laughs> grad scheme event is the tall ships thing, which is run every two years, where uh, the most recent two years of grads go on a boat and sail around for a bit and, uh, and team build. It's um, a good training sort of set up and you get to go on a little ships event and you get to um, have dedicated training. But I, I personally felt it was a very rewarding experience. Uh, I made, I was certainly better friends with everyone that I was on that boat with after the week I was there. And um, I think it, it does kind of just cement the relationships you have with people. So we very friendly, sociable bunch, tend to meet up for lunch every day. I'll go out once or twice a week for, for meals or movie nights or things like that. Go on nights out together, celebrate birthdays, that kind of thing. There's often, we'll often go out for meals sort of every couple of weeks. This Thursday we're going for a curry, for example. Um, and there's also quite a lot of weekend socialising where we sort of go out and have a few drinks and stuff like that around Oxford. Uh, the, the biggest benefit by a clear margin is the fact that I get to meet a lot of other people my own age. Okay, so yeah, Rutherford has its own, RAL has its own Rexoc, um, where you pay sort of, I think it's £3.50 out of your monthly wages to, to be a member and you get access to all sorts of discounts. There's so much available to you to use, like the Rexoc and the sports facilities. And they have loads of clubs and societies, which are pretty varied. I'm a member of the Music Society, uh, actually in a band. There's so much going on. Um, and I mean, for instance, I. It's only a small thing, but like during the summer you can play tennis and it's things like that. It kind of breaks up your day and it, it's a nice thing to have on site. Um, and you kind of you can actually take it for granted. You've got the rounders tournament. You get to play rounders in the summer in lunchtime. I play football with some of them. I play rounders with some of them. Oh, and if they don't have a club you want, you can like propose a new one. And there's quite a lot of funding available to start new clubs and get instructors the world. Living in Oxford is nice because it's, it's a nice part of the country and it's, you're near enough big towns and cities that there's an awful lot to do so you can easily get to, to London or to Reading or even Oxford itself is a very nice place. We really like living um, in this area, it's really, it's really pretty, it's a great place to go for walking or cycling. There's a lot of countryside about so if you want to go on walks and bike rides there's the Ridgeway nearby. I've never met so many people that cycle this cycle around it. You're not right out in the sticks but at the same time you're not in the middle of a concrete jungle or whatever.
I've learned a hell of a lot since being here. You'd be stupid to turn down a job from STFC. There's as much here as you want, in lots of ways. I mean, it's, you have to take advantage of it, but it's, it's here.